I think EA has this weird kind of phobia of putting cross-pack functional content in kits, which I completely understand because the My Second Pet stuff fiasco was very controversial and I know they don't want to make DLC for DLC, but I do think it's acceptable to give items cross-pack features. This little potting table here looked really, really nice. It came in the brand new greenhouse kit and I know a lot of people were disappointed that it didn't have functionality if you own Seasons because Seasons comes with a flower arranging table. Well, thanks to modders, we do have them now. Shanice's child called Child Tax Credit is angry and I don't care because we are neglecting it because Shanice is a neglectful parent anyway. This house with a nicely built greenhouse was definitely not stolen off the gallery because I couldn't be bothered to make one myself. So here's the potting table that doesn't actually function. Well, not anymore. <laughs> it functions. We can click on it. We can firstly open it and it just functions as a normal inventory, but you can also click on it and make a flower arrangement. So should we make an arrangement of daisies? Right, Shanice, let's go leave your child on the floor, please. We've got better things to be doing. And there we go. As you can see, Shanice is arranging a daisy. What do you even call it? A daisy bouquet? <laughs> a daisy arrangement? Anyway, that's what she's doing. And that's because it is now finally functional. Thank God. Obviously, in order for this to work, you do need to own the seasons pack. I feel like most people these days own seasons. So I guess it's not like the biggest issue for all simmers. I genuinely just love the fact that somebody's given this cross pack play because I think it's reasonable you know it's not like the my second pet stuff fiasco when you're literally making DLC for DLC like if EA put with this kit a flower arranging table and said hey if you own seasons we will actually make this functional and work for you I don't think people would find that unreasonable I don't think they would find it unreasonable at all I don't think people would say you should have made it so that people can have it even without seasons like I don't think people would have been like that I feel like people People would have understood you would need seasons in order for it to actually work like that which is the main reason why I don't get why EA was so afraid of it because let's be honest this one that came with seasons like it's fine but it's very big isn't it this is quite big whereas this one is a lot smaller and you know if I make a bouquet she only uses this like little middle space anyway so there's no reason you know to not chop off the edge of bits off and just turn it into something like this I feel like that would have made the greenhouse kit a lot better and as I said they could have still kept the actual functionality locked behind seasons but just giving people something a little bit extra if they do own seasons do you know what I mean you know in the little campus kit we got this projector screen okay which is a kit and the only other projector screen that we have is the one in the movie hangout stuff stuff pack without movie hangout stuff this just functions like a normal tv but if you have the movie hangout stuff pack then you can use this to watch movies too so I don't know why they couldn't have applied the same logic to this but there we go it is fixed with a mod another object which is from the basement's attic basement treasures kit <laughs> whatever it's called this object I actually neglected to find this in my review because the kit sorting method in the sims 4 build catalog is terrible so I didn't actually find this when I did my review oopsie daisy but it does exist but in the actual kit it doesn't work so now there's actually an option for it to work getting Shanice to use it there we go it does actually function as a totally normal tv that you can use to be fair I actually don't mind the fact that the one in the kit itself is broken because that's the whole point like the basement treasures kit is broken that literally is the whole point of the kit this is the original one for context by the way you can't click on it or use it or anything because the screen is smashed but this one you can I mean in real life if you try to plug up one of these bad boys like it wouldn't work so it kind of makes sense also you can put the new I say new you can put the newer TV on top of the older TV because they're still both old and that one still works so I, d I don't think it's unreasonable I know you all think I'm like this big moany sims will hate or I'm not gonna be like EA was awful for not making this functional like I think it makes sense that it's not functional I do but they did make you know this top one functional so that's completely fine this whole fiasco they should have made this functional like they did with the movie projector screen I am gonna bitch about EA for doing that but I think this one the fix for this is just nice for those who want it if you did see my review of the basement treasures kit you will know that I do have a lot of hatred towards this because it's literally like teasing simmers it really is a metaphor for the sim 
Sims 4. Sims have been asking for ages for a vibrating heart bed, but instead of giving us what they want, they do a roundabout way of giving us what looks like what we want, but it's not actually what we want. And it's broken, literally broken. <laughs> it is a metaphor for the Sims. Everything that we want in the game either doesn't exist or is broken. But to be fair, I admit, I actually think the mattress itself is a nice object that you could use in certain builds to make them maybe a little bit more dingy or for, you know, you could use it for an attic or a basement. And somebody has modded it to get rid of the trauma known as the bedboard here. So you don't need to be reminded what we could have had but don't have. It actually has the same emotional aura. So if I do go near it, my sim does actually get flirty from it still. So it still functions. Also, just as how the original had four different swatches, this one also has four different swatches too. So it's just a little something extra there. Also, another thing that came in the basement treasures kit is this trunk, which you can't click on and use. It's not functional. In The Sims 4 in general, we do have trunks and chests, which when you click on them, you can open them and put stuff in and out of them. This one is specifically a toy chest, but you can actually put other things in them, like, I don't know, seed packets or something, I don't know, collectibles. But of course, this one you can't, but we may be getting an official update to it, not a mod. Somebody who works on The Sims team on Twitter just wrote soon with a picture of this box saying open. So what this basically means is they're going to update this so it's openable like this. When EA does like these patch updates, normally they like collectively bunch a load of updates in one. I don't know if this means we're going to get updates to anything else or if like literally just this singular thing is being updated. Imagine if they updated with like a proper vibrating heart bed and me ranting and complaining like Karen actually worked. <laughs> I would be very happy if that happened. Usually when new Sims 4 kits get released, usually like something is broken or something is not right in the kit. Like I remember when this little, I put it up here so you can see it properly, this little like poster thing that came with the bathroom clutter kit, it had like a weird invisible glitch on it so you couldn't actually see it properly but they later updated it and fixed it. I can't remember when, it, I think it was just like a few weeks after the original kit was released. Although funnily enough, the exact same glitch is actually happening by the way with the new basement treasures kit. So this little wall decoration, when you view it from the other side, it just disappears like you can't see it. But when you go around the right side, you can see it. That same thing happened with this, but they patched it. I actually don't know if EA have noticed this or not. I will be honest, like their quality control has been getting proper sloppy. I mean, it's always been very sloppy, but ever since like my wedding stories, that was like turning point when it went like proper downhill. <laughs> so like in every single kit now, something is either broken or they haven't implemented a feature in a way that seems natural. They told us, well, they haven't told us officially, but kind of officially, we know we're going to get an update for this. This one, I doubt they've noticed it yet and it's so small, nobody's probably even reported it. So that's probably either never getting fixed or getting fixed in a few months forward slash few years. <laughs> we're going to have to wait and see. Actually, I also noticed that this poster, which came with the industrial loft kit, does the exact same thing. <laughs> Love the consistency here. EA thought, oh, we'll fix this one, but we won't fix this one. <laughs> I wonder if like the base game posters and boards have like a similar problem. Does this one, for example, this one has a similar problem. That was from the Vampires pack. Does this Jungle Adventure one have it? It does as well. What about this Cats and Dogs burger poster? Oh, that doesn't have the issue. What about this base game arrow? That doesn't have the issue. The Dying Out one? That doesn't. This base game one? That doesn't. What about this Vampires one? No, that does. So Vampires hasn't been fixed yet. Neither is Industrial Lock Kit, Basement Treasures Kit. <laughs> anyway, I have gone off on a little bit of a tangent. My favorite thing, if you get any of these mods, honestly, it's this one. By the way, the original one is still there. So as you can see in the build catalog, we've got the original one here, but then we've got the modded one here. So the original one maintains untouched. So if you would like to use this in, you know, a build that you want to put on the gallery, you can still put it on as unmodded. But if you own the mod, you can also have a second version, which is functional. Shanice's child, child tax credit, is about to be taken away by social services because the needs are so low. So I best get going. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you might also enjoy the next one recommended. I will see you there.